everybody and lo and behold here I am back from a two month hiatus. Now I know I didn't really say I was going on hiatus but I technically was with all the stress I was under with school and exams and just personal stuff going on. But now that I am free from that, I'm done my school year and as you can see I'm back home, I have more time to do more reviews. Now I can officially say that I am back and today we are going to start back up with a review. Now today, instead of specifically a wig or an item that I would normally review, I'm going to actually review a binder. Now I don't really cosplay all that much just yet, but I do plan to crossplay a lot of male characters in the future. Now considering that, I knew I was going to have to bind at some point because I do have a larger chest. So I decided that it was time to get a proper binder instead of using ace bandages or the terrible way of actually taping down your chest, which I advise not to do. So I decided to order from an actually well-known binder that I've heard of. It's called Female to Male Binders. Now they are a website store found in the States and I've heard great things about them. They do offer a few different choices for what you're looking for if you're a male or female looking to slim down or if you're looking to actually bind your chest, things like that. You do get some selection with that. So all together with the binder and the shipping it was actually $60 Canadian for myself. So it's a little expensive but the shipping itself actually makes up for most of the price. That being said, the shipping was extremely fast. And by extremely fast, I actually mean three days shipping. I ordered it on a Thursday, and they don't ship on weekends, but I ended up getting it on Monday. So technically that's two and a half to three days, which is amazing. Now that package is coming from Florida in the United States up to Ontario, Canada. So that kind of gives you some idea of the time wait for myself. Now I don't know about other areas in Canada or the States, but it may be faster, it may be longer, you'd have to play around with times. Now the shipping method that I was chosen to use, I didn't have the choice to use it, I had to use DHL. Now I've heard some risky things about DHL, them making you pay a lot of custom fees at the door, which can be quite expensive for them. However, I was quite lucky and I didn't have to pay any of that, so that was great on that part. So the actual item that I ordered was the Microfiber Concealer V Tank. So it's a tank top and it does come down into a V formation. Now I just want to give you some info on myself to see how it would compare with other people. I myself am a 94 centimeter bust, so around the whole bust area. And normally I do fit into a C or D cup bra, so that shows you the amount of largeness my chest is. I ended up getting the binder in white, more so because I will be wearing it under a lot of white shirts, and I got it in a medium. Now the medium says for the bust 91 to 99 centimeters, so we'll see where I fit in with that. Let's get to the package. Now I did open the package up out of the envelope. This is what it comes in. It's just a normal cardboard kind of plastic envelope. It's really not that great, but... Really, I can't complain with the shipping. It was fantastic and my actual item didn't get damaged. Here is the actual binder. It's in a really sturdy plastic, actually. I can't rip it that well. I'd have to get some scissors. But this is what it comes in. Very small, very compact. It's all folded up and we're going to open it up right now. Alright, so we have the actual binder here. Now if you take a look at it, it does look quite small at first, but I was told that these do stretch out a little bit and it is supposed to bind, so it's supposed to be quite tight. Now feeling the fabric, the fabric on the outside feels quite soft actually, it's almost airy almost. It feels like it could actually breathe quite well and we'll test that as well when I put it on too. If you take a look on the inside, it's, it's maybe a little difficult to see, but it's almost like this rugged material here. And I guess this is just supposed to reinforce the shape of the body or shape of the binder. And again, it feels pretty airy, pretty lightweight, and it should be able to breathe, but again, we'll see. Right now I'm just going to offer you a picture of two different side views of myself. One with me wearing a normal bra under a shirt, and the second of me wearing a sports bra underneath a shirt, just so that you can compare what the two look like, 
And now I'm going to show you what I look like with a sports bra and the binder on it together. Alright, so right now I'm actually wearing the binder. Now, first thing I noticed trying to put it on, it is quite tight and it's a little difficult to get into. Don't worry because the material does stretch quite a bit. I have large hips as well and it got over it no problem. So it is a little quite tight just putting it on first try, but it probably will get more comfortable. Right now actually it is quite comfortable. Could be a little more comfortable, but I have to get used to it. Second thing I'd like to mention is that the material feels super light and super airy. Like, I feel like it definitely breathes. Now I'd have to try it again in really hot conditions, but I definitely feel like, yes, it holds stuff close to your body and it does slim you down, but it also does keep you from feeling so tied down that you're sweating inside of this thing. So it may be a little difficult to see, but I'm going to try and angle the camera a little bit down so that you can see the chest area here. Now my chest was quite larger before and just like with the binder and the sports bra you can see a considerable amount of flatness. Now it's still a little bit difficult to see but I definitely feel like I could be as flat as some of my guy friends that are super flat chested as well. So definitely it does the job especially with a C to D cup bra size I have such a problem binding with ace bandages and this just has done the job so perfectly. Alright, so that's it for my review today guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Now if you have any questions or want any extra pictures of the binder itself or me in the binder, feel free to ask them. Feel free to ask for more pictures and I will somehow post them, let you see them. Now I do have a link to my Tumblr on my YouTube channel, so feel free to check that out as well. I do post a lot of updates in terms of my Lolita coordinates, some cosplay stuff as well. And if you want to see some sneak peeks for Anime North, which I will be going to, Anime North 2014 in Toronto, Canada, then you can find them on there as well. I will be wearing my Leo cosplay one day and my Lolita outfit another day. Now feel free to come up to me, say hi, ask for a hug, really it's up to you. I can't wait to meet some of you if you decide to. If not, then maybe I'll run into you there, maybe I won't even know it's you guys, but I hope I see you next time. Feel free to check out some of my other videos and have a great day guys. See ya!